pleased to have you return to my channel, Coin Lady. We are all aware that Russia is planning to enter the cryptocurrency market and implement rate reduction. In this context, what role does XRP play? As far as Aruna is concerned, the Russian exchanges are going to start accepting XRP. I would like to dissect that for you, and I am reiterating my prediction that the price of XRP will rise to $1,000. Click the like and subscribe buttons, you already know what we're going to do. Then let's begin. A large number of you have subscribed to my channel after viewing my videos. Keep in mind that we've been harping on some major September events, most notably the Federal Reserve's rate cuts, which, in theory, should provide a massive upside move, of roughly 50 basis points. In September, there will be two additional mage catalysts. One is Russia, and the other is the Sony blockchain integrated with Scenarium on Ethereum. Now two cryptocurrency exchanges are going live in Russia, facilitating international payments and allowing Russian businesses to essentially pay for or receive payment for goods and services offered worldwide. The United States has, of course, sanctioned them and everyone else since invading Ukraine. Thus, this is a means by which businesses, and by extension, the government, can collect money. Interestingly, this article was published with a focus on Russia and its plans to utilize XRP for money transfers. I know what you're thinking, well, I can't see it either. No problem at all. Finally, here we are. An illustration of the mechanism of cross-border money transfers in the Ripple system, it represents the digitization of payments and the introduction of innovation in the payments industry. It also represents international trends in the digitization of the payment sector. Again, this gives you a sense of, I suppose, their goal and methodology. And you won't believe it, but it pretty much mirrors XRP's expected behavior. Afterwards, it explains its Intentions in detail Smart contracts have the potential to revolutionize financial market participants' business processes. In order to streamline interbank clearing and settlements, smart contracts are utilized in international supply chain transactions involving letters of credit. 35 In order to regulate the terms of international money transfers Several nations' regulatory agencies are testing out smart contract-based reporting collection systems. When it comes to distributed process technologies, financial institutions are heavily investing in smart contracts and the infrastructure that supports them. Everything points to XRPL and its goals, which include facilitating the tokenization of assets and the eventual use of a digital environment for the transfer of products, services, and payment, while simultaneously providing a platform for many individuals to do so. Over there, the favorable alignment of decentralized ledger systems and smart contracts has paved the way for the growth of asset tokenization, which brings the issuance and exchange of assets into a digital realm. Tokens can be issued for a variety of assets, including equities, merchandise, real estate, and more. We have heard that these tokens are typically traded in the DLT network. Tokenization opens the door to new services for trading assets, such smart contracts, and can boost their liquidity. Based on what we've heard, consider using Ripple to consider all of their partners. Consider their work on financial systems and liquidity providers. It demonstrates the art of the feasible, but I don't think they've been developing XRP to enable Russian money transactions. It reveals their plans and the areas where they intend to implement them, which will greatly contribute to a storyline involving international money transfers and payment systems. Just take another look at the people who are involved with or have dealt with ripples to get a sense of who they are. There are a plethora of banks displayed on the upper right side of the page, including FedNow, DTCC, Dilot, and countless more. You can see the magnitude of it. Regarding SBI Holdings and their integration with XRPL, we had a conversation. We are familiar with the German banks involved and there is a great deal of activity with the World Bank and other institutions. You can see the huge possibilities for XRP right there. How can you tell if a token is happy with its situation? At least you have Stuart Aldridge, the company's chief financial officer or chief legal officer, weighing in on the SEC again. Just lately, the SEC has been suing the open seas. Astonishment awaits. 
Just for fun, the SEC decided in 1976 that art galleries didn't have to register with them even if they were selling to investors. Interesting, as the SEC is currently prosecuting open seas for a comparable matter, this fits neatly into their overarching narrative of stifling Bitcoin and digital currency in general, as they are well aware of its impending demise. These are serious claims, so you should know what I'm talking about if you don't believe me. As far as I can tell, that's just one rule for everyone. While we wait for them to pay the money and go on, we can enjoy the fact that you're older and that they're getting in on the SEC and grinding in that victory. Then we get to this uphold. His opinion on $1,000 XRP has made him one of the major backers of XRP, a major liquidity source. Now, one thing you won't hear from me is that XRP has $1,000. It's overwhelming. Optimistic, let's see it fall. Put it in your mind. At $1,000, there will be a 173,000% rise from the current price of 57 cents. Could it, in theory, come to pass? Yes, it should be easy. You have no idea. In my opinion, it is quite unlikely. Just a moment. It is my belief that we must reach certain crucial footprints. A lot of people think that retail opportunity would have to be removed if it were ever going to materialize since it requires big liquidity. Institutions are the target market for XRP, while retail users can purchase XLM. In any case, is it likely that this will actually occur? It's intriguing that Uphold is directly interested in this XRP to $1,000 argument, but I'm not sure if you guys informed me in the comments below. We can check the price. This range remains our trading range. We retested 61,000 and broke all the way back down to 59,200, some may suggest that this is manipulation, but Bitcoin is still having a rough day. Who knows? Some might not. 1.67 decline in trading, as previously mentioned, inside this range. Importantly, we are maintaining a foothold on some critical support levels, specifically the weekly 100-day simple moving average, which is encouraging as well as beyond the exponential moving average of 200 days. Just so you know, that's a bit more current in terms of the moving average. Despite the 56 cents we still have in our hands, we do think it's pretty. And I still believe that some really significant announcements will be forthcoming in the near future as we finish processing this payment. That is all I have to say about XRP at the moment, I am still clutching my baggage. I have not yet seen the outcome. The market must change for us. With any luck, this weekend will bring about a pleasant and encouraging change. Many of us are optimistic, but I would love to hear your thoughts and price forecasts in the comments section. $589, $1000, $10000, your predictions about the future value of XRP are always welcome. I appreciate you taking the time to view my online video. Thank you for watching my channel and for subscribing. I will see you later.